next session on Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a snap ray for its modal analysis. We will start by double clicking on modal module. I'll first go to engineering data. Here I'm going to add a new material. Like structural analysis, I am going to use this website for taking up the data of carbon steel that is AISI1070 as a material for the snap ring. So these are the properties. I will start by giving it a name. The first property required is density. The units is gram per centimeter cube. Here, if you check, the density is 7.7 to 8.03 gram per centimeter cube. I am using the higher value. So, here I will give the value as 8.03 gram per centimeter cube. Next, I have to give one property from this section. So, I will give isotropic elasticity, Young's modulus, and Poisson's ratio. Here, if we check the value of Young's modulus is 190 to 410 gigapascal. So, I'll give the higher value again. So, I'll give 410 E9 as the value. This is in Pascal. Poison's ratio is 0 0.27 to 0 0.3. So, I'm giving the higher value again, 0 0.3. If you want, you can average out and give the value as well. So, I've given all these values. So, this is enough to create a material. Now, I'll go to project and update project. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click. Import geometry and I'll directly import the model which has been made with me. I will give you the link for the model. You can download and use the model for the analysis work. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. First, I'll go to geometry and I'll allocate the material as carbon steel. Next, I'll go to mesh and change the sizing from coarse to fine and update. Next, I'll go to model. Here, I'm going to give the boundary condition. As you are aware that the snap ring sits on a particular zone. So this lower portion is what I am going to fix. This is the only boundary condition that I am going to give. Next I will go to solution and directly solve first. So here you can see six modes have been created. I'll go to the last one, click here, right click, select all, right click, create mode shape results. I'll solve once again. We'll go to the first deformation. The value of deformation is 3355.2 mm. The value is very high. But the frequency for it is equally very high. It is 6.4 into 10 raised to 5 hertz, which is a very high value. So at this frequency, you will see this kind of a deformation. We will animate and check how it is going to move under this frequency. Now if you observe here, the value of frequency is almost the same everywhere. 6.4 and some decimal values in a 10 raised to 5 words. So we will just see what are the deformation for these corresponding frequencies. Next I'll go for deformation 2. Here the value of deformation is 3343.3 mm. The value of frequency is 6.407 and 10 raised to 5 words. 
we will see the pattern of its motion. You can see the pattern of motion is different for the two modes. So next we'll go with third one. Here you can see the deformation is 3358.4 mm and the value of frequency is 6.4133 in a range to 5 hertz. You can see the mode is again different. The way it is vibrating. Next we will go for the fourth one. Here the value is 3275.6 mm and the frequency is 6.4225 in a range to 5 hertz. We will animate and see. It is very different from the first three. Then we go for the deformation 5. Here the value of deformation is 3257.6 mm and the value of frequency is 6.4353 into 10 raised to 5 volts. You will see its pattern of motion. And then we will see the last one. Here the deformation is 3240.8 mm and the value of frequency is 6.4528 into 10 raised to 5 hertz. Value of frequency is very high. So it will be almost impossible to reach this frequency for the body as a whole. But yet if it has to reach then this would be the amount of deformation induced in this body. So you can just see how it is going to move. So, using the material of carbon steel AISI 1070, you will get this type of deformation and these are the modes of vibration. Owing to this boundary condition, the pattern of motion will not change, but definitely the frequency and the deformation is going to be different for different materials. So, you can just use different material and check what could be the result on this body. You will essentially find different values of deformation and frequency. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a snap ring for its modal analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.